I want a low value man. They don't make podcasts. I haven't seen one low value man make a podcast. Do they not know how to use microphones? Maybe that's a good thing. That's, that's hot. All right. I haven't seen, I've never seen a man use a microphone for good. Until now. Hello. Yo, who are these fucking idiots who are calling? Uh, there are people who, so everybody, this is uh, JJ Lieberman. Um, like finally, finally, JJ. So, so JJ Lieberman, uh, everybody, if you don't know him, uh, he's a comedian. Just moved to New York a week ago. How's New York treating you, JJ? I'm actually only calling to put out a uh, no self promotion, please. Service announcement. No self promotion, please, JJ Lieberman. I'm doing a show Thursday. JJ, J- 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 did you call in because you want to promote a show? Like an open mic or some shitty show that you're doing in New York? No. What are you doing uh, no, on Thursday? I, I'm doing that St. Mark spot. We're doing the Mana show, but no. I oh, oh you're doing the Decentraland show. I need a fucking place to stay, dude. <laughs> I'm looking at yes, your everybody. So JJ, right p- people are in the chat. So JJ has finally made it to fucking New York City <laughs> with the me. amount of money I've ever had. I was broke. In March 2020 was zero dollars. I have less right now. You have less. So JJ is technically bankrupt, moved to one of the most expensive cities on earth. Oh, the most expensive. <laughs> no, I think maybe like Hong Kong might be. But anyway, so you moved here. You have two pathetic dogs that wear fucking diapers. They're like tiny dogs that are old and they have diapers. JJ, this stuff, people probably hear the shit from I you, JJ, am, and I they am don't be low value male. Yeah, you are. Like J- JJ, I honestly, am the lowest. I think you might be the mascot for this what? podcast. Like we're gonna get a fucking like a mascot like suit where it's basically just looks like you know, like the, like the what what am I thinking of? Like the Spartan or something? Like the you know the yeah, um, the, the Michigan uh, State Spartan. Big head, big head ball. You actually kind of look like the Michigan State Spartan, actually, now that I think of it. And uh anyways, we're gonna get one, but it just looks just like you. But anyways, what, what am I looking at? Is what that it, your living room? JJ, you're a fucking idiot. You think this is my living room? What is that? It's, I have a green screen, um, oh. behind me and this is, there's a, there's a meme on the internet, uh, of, uh, like how a guy will just have a fucking, this will be their living room. And then, oh. um, I can't remember who, but someone who follows me on Twitter suggested that I make this the background and it was very good. Uh, and That's so actually pretty good. Yeah, so that's that's the background. It's very low value. People are saying in the chat that I, I need to. Um, I was like, Can I, I, need, I need to help you out. You can't stay at my place uh, because um, there's not actually a room. I just like a rule or whatever behind that. I just don't want you to. But uh, if anybody in the days. chat, you have two days, and and I've then what a- happens? Like, are you gonna be homeless? I mean, I've I I only have a certain amount of money. I, I can't use it for apartments or for hotels. I need it for an apartment. Okay. Well, this seems like um, someone's saying make him stay at Ryan's. Uh, someone's is saying send him to the Bowery, Z- Bowery Mission. I See, the problem with the mission is that they won't take the a dogs. guy with two fucking dogs. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I whatever, JJ. You know what? Applause to you for not putting them down. I'm sure a lot of... People would have just killed their dogs to do this. No, I and mean, you didn't, honestly, man. Honestly, that's very not low value of you. Um, yeah, I mean, everyone said put the fo- everyone has said foster them. Who wants uh, to foster? I mean, I guess people take dogs of any age, but do they? By the way, do they need the diapers, or is that a convenience thing for you? No, um, they have, one needs the diapers. The other one's actually getting a lot better since. Having Why do the, they need the diapers? Why can't they just have like a pee pee pad? Because the guy who I was the previous owner didn't get the one fixed. And the older he's gotten, the more he wants to mark everywhere. They used to be able to go on a wee-wee pad. Oh, oh, he has balls? You have a dog with balls? Yeah, and that's part of the problem. <laughs> that's uh, that's unfortunate. Um... Yeah, but so, like, the thing is, and I'm not, like, commending myself. No. Um, I mean, someone has to. I'm not going to. No, I mean, the thing is, 
if it's not me, they go to a pound, and I can't do that. Yeah, I, just I, I mean, that. for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can't. Fuck so, it. I you can't. can't, I, can't do I mean, that would be insane to just go fucking <laughs> drop your two dogs that you've had for how long? Like six or eight years? And just be like, all right, bye, guys. I'm going to go do uh, comedy. Decade. Uh, decade, yeah. So, that's you can't do that. But so, anyways, if people are listening and you have any leads on a place, have you been going to see places? Just- I mean, JJ, I told you before you moved here, it is hard to fucking get a place in New York. Um, you got to treat it like a job. 50 people today. Oh, really? And yeah. what? They just... Yeah. No, one, no I, dice? Found, I, I, I found one in, in Central Park. The place was like ridiculous. It was like 1500 for the month. And I'm like, by the way, like for 20 days. And I'm like, um, you're cool with the dogs, right? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, what? And she was like, a fucking immigrant, but white immigrant. So it's okay. You're an immigrant, idiot. I know, I know. I have an amazing bit about it. Should I just do my bits? I'll uh, hang up on you so fast if, <laughs> if I think you're doing stand-up comedy right now. I mean, I don't, I don't mind. Um... If, if you thought I was doing stand-up comedy, there'd be silence. <laughs> well, that's why I'm going to hang up because this fucking stream is just going to go empty and everybody's like, fuck, what am I watching? Oh, God. Um, no, she's like, you just lock them in the room. I'm like, you fucking retard. The, the dogs will go crazy in a locked room. Wait, she suggested you lock them in a room? Yeah, in her place. And what? then and then she sent me her other listing, her Craigslist uh, studio. And she's like, oh, it's you, this might be more convenient. It's like 4000 for the month. And I'm like, yeah, um, the streets seem more convenient than that. So. Anyways, um, I did just have a, an amazing Mexican place by New York Comedy Club. Did you see it that just opened? No, I didn't see what just opened. Oh, just a fantastic, like, it's, like, from Mexico. It's similar to uh, Tacos o Gordos in Vegas. Okay. And it's fantastic. Um, okay. Well, price, prices are insane. <laughs> Welcome to New York City, pal. Yeah. Anyways. Um so, all right, well, well, this is a cool show, man, by the way. I, I actually, you know, as as I was calling him, like, man, you should have low value mail crypto edition. What and does that mean? That means I get to do another podcast. You wanna, <laughs> what, what? I, I mean, I don't know. Like, I've thought about doing a crypto podcast, but I'm like, I don't know what I would do. I, like, I no, don't, like the actual. What, what do we just talk mean? about? How much you just tell everybody? Dude, you're a perma bull. All you say is I pick anything and you go, it's going up. <laughs> Even if it's fucking looks like it's going, even if it looks like it's about to tank, you're just like, it's going higher. Great short term, great short term bounce right now. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. This is why I'll never, this is why I'll never be allowed on the boys cast again. Like when we're in fuckingomics, just another thing that I can talk about that will Ryan will get annoyed. It's poker. Yeah. Poker's better because you actually know what you're talking about. Like, I think you could, like, you've studied so much poker where you know what you're talking about with poker. right now yeah and i'm like you could probably teach me stuff about poker whereas if you started trying to teach me about crypto i'd be like all you say is you're i'm a moon boy and I am a it's moon boy. and you're like bitcoin's going to 400 million dollars and you're like okay well that's i don't think that's really um yeah someone someone just said right constantine the great said bring jj on to talk about his stock and crypto advice so i can sell whatever he's in i do use you sometimes <laughs> hey, as a, a contrarian a, indicator Sorry, I cut you off, but how about Constantine? I, uh, you can talk about me fist fucking your portfolio and um, actually making it positive. Okay. So, are you allowed to swear here, or is this? Uh, I mean, it's YouTube. I don't see why not. I had the last guy, Alex, was like a big conspiracy guy. I don't know if you've seen who, his videos. Alex Burian? No, Alex Stein. He's like he does these funny videos where he pranks like city councils and shit. But. Really? Um, Good for him. Good for you, Alex Stein. Way to be more he, successful than me. He's, he's not listening. Know. And I mean, oh. JJ is, I mean, that's not like a big deal to be more successful than more you. More successful than me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not, I don't know if that's really commendable, but um, anyways, maybe, yeah. maybe we'll, we'll, maybe we'll have some episode where you can shill your fucking horrible bags. Um, they are acting horrible. Although I did have buy orders for East Ethereum and Sandbox and they both hit today. Nice. Um, yeah, we're we're looking short term uh, bounce, corrective bounce, and then back to probably thirty five, and then up only. All right. Was the, so he's just up. So you think so? ETH is going to thirty five hundred, and then it's just going to keep on climbing. No, higher? no. I'm saying I'm saying Bitcoin's going to have a quick relief bounce, and then we're going to probably. Re- oh, you're saying thirty five thousand for Bitcoin? Yeah. And what do you think about all these macro headwinds, JJ? The who? The macro headwinds. 
I mean, in, in the in the world, you know, like inflation, uh, Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan. Uh, what, what do you think that means? What do you think that means for the uh, price of Bitcoin? Inflation, um, the federal, I think it's similar. I think the it's FOMC similar. raising rates. I think it's similar to the summer, man. Um, I think that uh, Moses, no, see, this is why he's wearing a diaper. As you're asking me about FOMC rates, he just went to fucking piss. And I just took him out for the sixth time today. And um, uh, reusable diapers, JJ? Of course, reusable. I have, Okay, oh, so no, 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 you sorry. don't have laundry. How no, many no, 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 diapers do you the, have? Sorry, I have reusable diapers, but for the hotels the last two, three weeks, I've been in a hotel for a fucking month. Yeah. I've been... I've been using the disposable, not reusable. They're re, they're reusable every time they piss in them. I just rub them across my face to you know just realize it's not this bad. And then I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's uh, disposable diapers. Um, no, but I think we're very similar, very similar sentiment as the summertime right now. Um, I, I just think this is a lot of FUD, and I think there is a lot of people. Do you think all this stuff is FUD? Like all the inflation and in Russia, Ukraine, this is just FUD? Listen, li listen, let me tell you something right now. Yeah. We have bigger problems than fucking Bitcoin tanking if this war happens. Why? Okay. Why? Because rent's going to finally be cheaper and in my favor. I don't know what that means. What do you mean? So you think, <laughs> you think that the Russia Ukraine conflict. Will have a put negative pressure on New York City rents? Uh, no, but that's what I'm hoping. Why would that happen, dude? Do you think I fucking know? The only I don't. Thing I, I well, I don't know. But dude, you're trying to pitch me on fucking coming on and doing like a segment about cryptocurrency, and someone says JJ doesn't have laundry. JJ's living in a hotel right now. Dude, I, I fucking walked over to Fulton Street and I had my laundry done. In you kind the, of are, um, could be like a kind of a midnight cowboy thing. I feel like you could, why don't you, have you considered prostituting yourself? Dude, I've tried to do everything. I'm about to go sign on to the session. This is a cool idea, by the way. I'm very bullish on low value mail call and show. Are you? Okay, cool. That means that it's tanking. <laughs> uh, Constantine the Great says, I don't think buying ETH right now is a terrible idea. So. I don't think buying ETH or Bitcoin is a terrible idea because at most they're going to like drip, uh, drop like seven, eight percent. And if there, you think is the floor on ETH is seven? I think ETH could go as low as eighteen hundred. So okay, so maybe more than I actually agree with you. If Bitcoin does, uh, I think Bitcoin could go to twenty thousand. The, the reason why Bitcoin right now, honestly, it it's going to be very difficult to have a huge drop like in December, like that day that you, you didn't close your leverage trade. Yep, yep. Is that open December 3rd, lost very a low. fortune. Um, what's open, that? Open, open interests are very low right now. So meaning like there's not a lot to get liquidated, mm -hmm. which can send like a huge capitulation. Although again, if there I mean, is people could be war, selling their spot Bitcoin. Right. But, Again, there are massive buy orders set. Like I, I've seen this stuff on chain. Not that. Not I know. That I, well, you just. I, I know. You follow Will Clemente, that fucking eighteen-year-old kid. I, I, a, a lot of your takes on crypto, I read from Will Clemente an hour before. You, you've read. They're like basically. You basically just tell me. You go. I think this. I go. Yeah, I read Will Clemente say that an hour ago. Um, so basically, my takes are similar to like my my social my social uh, commentary. It's based off someone else's takes. Essentially, yeah. Brian, oh, okay. Brian's uh, in the chat says he bought three Bitcoin in 2013. Shout out to Brian. And oh, you held the whole way through? If he hodled, fucking... Dude, if you bought three Bitcoin and you hodled that shit, dude... Under congrats. $100? Because yeah, I... Is. would. That would be tough to not get shaken out of that. So my buddy, my buddy once said, my buddy who's like also in your situation he's got like a lot of money from investing well i don't know if you have a lot of money but he's like well off he's retired the guy who set up the main event when you bought a piece of me in the world series of poker ten thousand dollar tournament that yeah. you just dusted five hundred dollars yeah yeah it was a good honestly i put the five hundred dollars in. it was a good investment yeah we'll do it again I mean, it was investment. yeah yeah um he said to me anyone who held this whole way through had to be like like if you look at it like if you never took profits and you've held this whole way through like as a not taking profit off this, you're a fucking moron almost. But again, I mean, you know yeah, saying? like, well, I mean, what's your but end game? I mean, I guess if you, yeah, I guess if you don't need the money and you just never want to sell it, like you're like, I want to have three Bitcoin in 2050, and you're like, what do I care about in the meantime? I guess I don't know. Um, yeah, anyway, all right, cool JJ. Idea, man. Um, Good luck with finding a place. If anybody knows of a place in New York, 
uh, I guess, how can they reach you on Instagram? They can DM you. I can't imagine anybody's going to be stupid enough to do that, but, uh, yeah, nobody, nobody and if you want, if you want some entertainment in your life, let JJ stay with you. I have enough uh, entertainment personally, so it's not on the table for me, but, uh, yeah, you do. But, uh, yeah, JJ, well, um, have you ever considered squatting? Like maybe go find like an apartment I'm doing you, like tomorrow. No, 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 no. Oh God. Yeah. Um, I go know. find like an empty it's apartment that that's like for rent or for sale. Like maybe go find one of those. You know, like there's always that like in New York they'll be like, oh, this apartment's listed for nineteen million dollars and it's been on the market for two and a half years. You know, like one of those oh, things where yeah, the yeah. you know, and then just go break in there and you live in a nineteen million dollar apartment while they figure out how to sell it. Uh, Anyways, just an idea, JJ. All right, man. Keep well. This is a great idea. Fantastic. Okay. Later, Honestly, JJ. it's on your YouTube page. I'll watch through YouTube. Uh, where where were you watching it? I was watching on Facebook. Oh, it's on Facebook. Like yeah, Facebook. yeah, yeah. I stream it on so Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Take later, care, man. Bye, man. Bye. See you tomorrow. That was JJ Lieberman. Everybody, um, moved to New York. It's tough moving to New York. I, I am sympathetic. Not sympathetic enough to let him live with me or stay at my place, but. I am sympathetic. Okay, we got a we got a call. 